Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 video and today we've got another player debut. This one is going to be the new Jimmy Fox. He just came out this last Friday in the headliners packs. And really the reason I wanted to do a debut with him is is nobody was really talking about this card. I don't know why. I don't know if it just got kind of overshadowed because there's a player of the month that just came out and then the CC Sabathia signature series in the same pack. But no one really has said anything about this card. This is a really nice righty bat in your lineup. He's got crazy good contact with really good power to go with it. 87 vision. The fielding is a little low, but if you do plan to put him at first, that shouldn't be too bad. 70 fielding should be plenty. And he's got 66 speed, which is nice. For this video, though, I'm actually going to be putting him behind the dish at catcher because I feel like... I feel like catcher is one of the weaker positions. I know, you know, the weakest is probably shortstop, but I feel like catcher is one of the weaker ones. There are a couple signature series guys, but those guys kind of go for a lot of stubs. So people who who really can't afford to drop 100K stubs on a Brian McCann or 200K on a Molina, they can't really afford the best catchers in the game. We're going up against the Myrtle Beach Ducks in this one. See what tiny, kind of team he's got. He's got Burt Blylevin on the mound. This is going to be the first time facing that card for me. Pretty much all signature series on his team except for a creative player at shortstop. So this this should be a, this should be a good one. So first at bat here, Tony Gwynn. And uh, I will say that this uh, game is coming in the championship series. I think I'm at an 831 rating. Uh, so, you know, we're, we should be getting a little bit better competition here in this ranked season. But for some reason, I've been really struggling in this season. Like, I, I don't know why, but I'm not doing so good. So hopefully in this video, I can uh, turn it around. Maybe Jimmy Fox will give me a little bit of a boost. And uh, hopefully I can get my way up to World Series. And Tony Gwynn starting off with a single. That's nice. So here is Jimmy Fox's first at bat. He's batting second in the order. Tony Gwynn did get on. Burt Blylevin on the mound. I'm going to take that curveball. Wasn't really expecting that. He does have a, a PCI that's a little bit on the smaller side. And I, oh, I just got under that one. He hung that pitch badly right down the middle. And I just got under it. So for me, this side of the game might be a little bit more interesting with Jimmy Fox behind the dish. Because he already only had a 70 fielding rating. He hit that one pretty nicely. He already had only a 70 fielding rating, so putting him behind the dish should give him a minus 5 across the board on fielding. So he'll be a 65 rated fielder behind that dish. So that's not too solid. I don't know what his blocking is, but he, he also doesn't have the strongest arm. So if you do decide to get this, uh, this Jimmy Fox and put him behind the dish, you are going to be sacrificing some defense and maybe giving up a little bit more steals than if you go with somebody with the better arm. But if he can make up for it with the bat, it could be a pretty nice card. And Tony Gwynn doing Tony Gwynn things, slapping that one the other way. That's going to get down the line for an easy double for Tony Gwynn. And that puts a runner in scoring position for Jamie, or Jamie Fox. that's an actor. Jimmy Fox is second at bat of the game. He can get an RBI here and... I didn't really want to swing at that that curveball. I probably would have grounded out or something. That's a curveball I wanted to swing at, though. Man, how did I miss that? I was above it and early. Ah, and he gets me with the backdoor curveball. That was a good pitch. I wasn't really expecting it, and he, he nailed that one. Alomar hits that one hard. To center and it gets past the center fielder that's going to drive in the run alomar is going to get to third definitely rbi triple with two outs for roberto alomar and he gives himself a good shot at scoring with frank thomas coming up next and frank thomas can't get that one through the hole that was close to driving in another run but he didn't quite hit it hard enough but i'll take the one run scored we take a lead here in the third well this is an annoying at bat this is about to be the 10th pitch. He just keeps following it off. I'm going to try this backdoor cutter. Hopefully I get it right. And he went with it. I've never seen anybody hit a backdoor cutter like that. But, uh, wow. Tony Gwynn is 3 for 3 in this game. He is just a hitting machine. 
and he's on base once again for Jimmy Fox. Maybe one of these times Fox can drive him in. And Jimmy Fox is just going to decide to ground into a double play. Jimmy, do you not realize this is your debut? You got to do better than this. And Matt Williams takes that one the other way. Pitch didn't get where I wanted it to. Why would you not be bunting in this situation? I'm through those pitches assuming, oh, there it is. And he doesn't get him over to third. Or does he? No, he does because Mad Bum decided to run another mile after he hit the base. Catch that one, Gwyn. Oh, God, no. No. That was the worst thing that could have happened on that. It, you could have at least, like, caught it and then tumbled or something. Why is this guy so annoying with Willie Mays? This is the second at bat in a row that he just fouls everything off. And this is the seventh pitch of this at bat. We got him swinging, but he's he's literally going to get out first with a drop third. Yeah, Jimmy Fox doesn't have the arm for that. Ichiro, please get down. That's huge. Yes, Ichiro Suzuki with the double. I might... I'm going to stretch that to three. He's going to get in there. That's an easy triple from Ichiro. Way to start off an inning, Ichiro. That is phenomenal. Oh, he actually lines it to center. I'm going to be able to score on that. Willie Mays didn't get behind that one. So Ichiro is going to get in there with the run. We tie this game up. Ichiro with that huge triple. That was that was awesome. And uh, he drilled. I left that cutter right over the middle. That was all my fault. He drilled it. And, well, that's another cutter. Crush that one. Maybe Gwyn will throw him out. No, he keeps him at first. And here's Fox throwing out a runner. And he gets him. All right. That was a, a, a slider. It was a slide step. But he just threw out a 98-speed runner on a slider. And that one, well, that might be ruled a hit if he gets on. Yeah, he's on. So it might be ruled a hit because it was a tough play. But it didn't quite get down the line. They did rule it a base hit. And Alomar is going to get another one up the middle. So now we got something cooking here. Frank Thomas gets that one down in the gap. We got to get to third with Fox. Come on, Fox. Get there. And he gets thrown out. I I mean, he wasn't running. I don't blame him because I also wasn't sure if that one was going to get down. But, man, that that sucks. If I was running, if he was running off the bat, that would have been a run. Ichiro gets that one down, though, and I'm going to test it. We need to tie this game up. And Gwyn can't quite throw him out. Alomar gets around third and heads home. And we get the run to tie the game up in the eighth. That was huge. Oh, he flailed at two splitters in a row. And then I, that one, I let it catch a little bit of the zone. And he just gets it over the wall. All right, I'd really love for Gwyn to get on base here. Just so we can give Fox a chance to be clutch. And that one's not going to get down. Dang it, Gwyn. Jimmy Fox only getting one hit in the game, and he ends the game on deck, so he didn't have a chance to be clutch. Now, I think I'm going to play a second game in this episode. I, I don't really want Jimmy Fox to go down like that. I want to give him another try here, give him a second game, and uh, we'll just we'll see how he does. All right, we're going to be playing against the Baton Rouge Tigers LSU. We're going to be the home team this time, so that's nice. We're going to be facing off against the new... Hyunjin Ryu and Josh Bell. So this should be an interesting game. He's got some interesting cards here that you don't see all that often. I've got Cy Young on the bump. Jimmy Fox with another another time, another try here to uh, get something going with the bat. And we got him against the lefty, so that's going to be kind of nice. And Gold Glove Frank stopping that one from getting through. Prevented a run there and got the out. The runners did move in both to scoring position, though. And we get him grounding out to second. That is going to score a run, unfortunately. But it could have been worse. Jimmy Fox's first at bat in this one. First at bat against the lefty. Hopefully he can do a little something. He has 125 contact against lefties. 
And on his first swing, that one's hit pretty nicely. Oh, but it gets caught? Ichiro is finally going to be getting the first hit of the game. Nice little blooper out there to center. And he hits that one down the line. That one, that one might score Ichiro. It's probably not going to though. And I am going to get into second with Arenado. So we got a we got a two out double there. Alan Trammell up. Hopefully this guy is not smart. If he was smart, he would intentionally walk Trammell. And he's not smart. Trammell does the exact same thing. Gets that one down the line. Two run double. We take the lead here. Oh my God. Ryu crushed that ball. That one's not going to get out though, but that was just about as close as you can get to getting out. Dang. He's stealing this time. And Jimmy Fox nails him. That wasn't even close. All right. Jimmy Fox coming up again with nobody on. The lefty cell on the bump. Made good contact last, last time. And I got around on the fastball, but it was much too high in the zone for me to do anything with. And he's stealing. I didn't slide step that time, but we're still going to throw him out. Jimmy Fox is a tank behind the dish, man. And Arenado hits it well, and that's actually going to get down in the gap. That might play two. Arenado having a big game, too. Ichiro's going to get home. Arenado with his second double of the game. Driving in two. This one's going pretty well now. Jimmy Fox coming up again with nobody on. And he goes down below the zone to hit that, but it's not going anywhere. Man, this Jimmy Fox, I thought he was going to be a lot better at the dish, but he just he can't square anything up. And Mookie Betts hits that one nice. That's going to get over his head out there in the gap. Probably not going to score Frank. I'm not even going to try it. But oh my god, what is he doing? No, Mookie. Why were you going to third? And Ichiro gets that one out to center. That's definitely going to be deep enough. And he just misplays it. All right. <laughs> Ichiro's three for three now in this game. Honestly, I feel like after that error, this guy is one bad thing away from uh, quitting out of this one. So if Nolan could, could plate Ichiro here, this could be the end of the game. And Nolan hits that one pretty nicely out to center. That one's not going to get caught. Get on your horse, Ichiro. All right, we're not going to make the same mistake. Arenado staying at second. Ichiro scores. Arenado with another. That's his third double of the game. Well, he didn't quit, but he brought in a new pitcher, Hector Neris. And that one's, of course, going to get down. That's going to get Machado home. Jimmy Fox coming up, still facing a lefty and hater. And I swung first pitch and grounded out. Jimmy Fox, man, he is... He, he's honestly a disappointment at the plate. And Frank Thomas with another single, man. This dude is... Oh, he's going to get thrown out. <laughs> uh, I jumped the gun on that a little bit there. And that screwball, man, it continues to hang. I didn't even think I missed my spot that much. We have the third out here, and he's going to... Buddy, what are you doing here? You're, you're going to end the game on this? Nolan, what are you... What the heck? <laughs> well, that's the end of the game, I guess. That was, that was the weirdest ending to a game I have ever seen all right well at least we got some redemption in that game after the first loss that guy sent him back down to uh the 600s there i didn't realize he would have been so low but at least we got a redemption win there after the first loss jimmy fox's debut i w i would say 50 50 if i'm being honest i like his swing a lot i just didn't get anything going with him in that game but behind the dish, if you put him there as a secondary, for whatever reason, he was incredible. He had three. He was three for three and caught stealing attempts, I guess. There was three times the other team tried to steal. He gunned him down every single time. But that is going to do it for me in this player debut. I, I hope this went kind of well. I decided to try and do a, a two-game 
uh, debut here instead of just the one game. Give him a little bit of a chance. I might continue doing this in the future when I do debuts. I kind of like getting a second game in there. But I don't know. If it makes the episode too long, I might not. But anyway, if you enjoyed this debut of Jam- Jimmy Fox, I keep, I keep wanting to call him Jamie. He's not an actor. If you liked this debut of Jimmy Fox, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more MLB The Show content, make sure you hit subscribe. We got some franchises going on, battle royale runs, all kinds of stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. But anyway, that's it for me in this one, and I will see you in the next video.